Okay, so now we are going to solve our next numerical problem, which is 7.8 of chapter number 7. And this is the last numerical problem of your textbook, chapter number 7. Uh, the statement of this numerical is at your textbook is find the amplitude, frequency and period of object vibrating at the end of a spring. If the equation for its position as a function of time is given, x equals 0.25 cos into pi over 8t. What is the displacement of the object after 2 seconds? I repeat, find the amplitude frequency and period of vibrating at object at the end of a spring if the equation for its position as a function of time is given x equals 0.25 cos into pi over 8 t what is the displacement of the object after 2 seconds ok student in given data we have x equal the equation given which is 0 0.25 cos pi over 8 into t we can nominate this as a 1 and time is given 2 second so what we will have to find out we will have to find out to find here we write to find First thing we have to find out amplitude x naught. Second thing we will have to find out frequency. We can nominate as f. Third thing we will have to find out is period or you can say time period t and the fourth thing which is find out displacement displacement x find out when t equals second okay so this is the information given in our numerical problem so this is the all information first we have given a equation 0 0.25 cos into pi over 8 into t and t time is equal to 2 second and the other thing uh, we will have to find out amplitude frequency period and displacement after time 2 second so to solve this numerical problem let's start calculation First, we write the calculations of. Uh, we know that from uh, simple harmonic motion, the displacement in simple harmonic motion we have derived out as cos omega t. We will nominate this as equation number two. Now you can see that the both sides, left sides of those these two equations, these above two equations, equation number one and two are same. Then we write comparing equation 1 and equation 2 okay students uh, comparing these equations we can have x naught cos omega t right side of this equation we will compare 0 0.5 0 0.25 cos into pi over 8 into t okay students now you can see that uh, this is the omega t and this is the pi over 8t here omega is equal to pi over 8 here omega is equal to pi over so we can cancel this term by this term and we can have amplitude x naught equal 0 0.25 this is the first point which is the amplitude we have to find out 0.25 this is amplitude now find out a uh, time period so we can write the formula for time period as we know that omega is equal to 2 pi over f and so 2 pi over t you can say 2 pi over t or this is 2 pi f and f is equal to 2 pi over t so this can be written as omega 
here omega is given pi over 8 this is omega 2 pi into f so here we can find out the f as pi multi cancel out pi we have f as 16 students you can uh, you know very well about the time period f this is a reciprocal of frequency so here we can write as time 1 over 16 so which is a reciprocal of frequency so we can write as 16 second Okay, so it's a reciprocal jo hai, frequency. Ka reciprocal hota hai, frequency hai, bas kya hai? 1 over 16 is the T ka, uh, jo frequency ka reciprocal kar lete hai, bas time kitna hai? 16 second a jata hai. Ab jo hai, eh, humne kya find out karna hai? frequency hai, bas aagi thi. second point mein. Jab ke third point humne period nikalna tha, wo a gaya, bas T, which is the third point. So this is the third point, this is the first point and this is the second and now we are going to find out the displacement. So formula for displacement We have to last point the displacement find out karna hai, x and x ka formula we will write x is equal to this equation we use kar lenge, 0 0.25 cos pi by 8 into t so here we have value put kar lete 0 0.25 cos so pi by this pi by jo 8 hai ise hum likh sakte hain time period ki value put kar 2 second 2 se ye 4 ho jayega okay so 4 pi over 4 hamare paas kya a jayega ये हमारे पास 45 डिग्री आ जाएगा जब के जब इसे हम सॉल्व करेंगे cos 45 वी नो दैट 1 by 2 रूट होता है और इसको जब हम सॉल्व करते हैं हमारे पास आ जाता है 0.70 इसे जब हम मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे तो x हमारे पास आ जाएगा 0.18 मीटर दिस इज द फोर्थ पॉइंट जो हमने फाइंड आउट करना था so in this way we can solve this numerical problem how can we solve this numerical problem we have given equation x equals 0.25 cos pi over 8t we have given time 2 second what we will have to find out we will have to find out amplitude x0 frequency f period t and displacement x after time 2 second we know that from the uh, simple harmonic motion the displacement of simple harmonic motion is x equal x naught cos omega t now you can see that the two equations have formed we nominate this as equation number two by comparing these two equations because the left sides are same so x naught cos omega t equal 0 0.25 cos pi over 8 into t you can see that where omega is pi over 8 we will cancel out cos omega t by cos pi over 8 into t now we have x naught equals 0 0.25 which is a meter and frequency in hertz so this is a unit of frequency and we know that angular frequency which is equal to 2 pi f and uh, by substituting omega is pi over 8 angular rotation 2 pi and f we will have to find out x uh, f here so by rearranging this equation we can have 8 over 2 into 2 multiplied pi pi cancel out by pi and 8 multiplied 2 equals 1 over 16 hertz which is frequency this is second point third is the period we know that uh, time period is a reciprocal of frequency so t equals 16 second the fourth point which is x displacement after 2 second we will use this equation equation number 1 x equals 0 0.25 cos pi over a into t by substituting the value of t 2 second 2 uh, cancel out by 8 2 4s are 8 and we will have uh, 
pi over 4 which is 45 degree now on calculator you can find out cos 45 which is equal to 0 0.70 now multiply by 0 0.25 by 0 0.70 you can have 0 0.18 meter so these all are the answers of your required quantities amplitude frequency period and displacement